Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Lopez and our theme this day is, this week is water and we are going to read a book called Float. This is the book right here. I'd like you to look at the pictures with me. This book doesn't have any words and I am going to stop and ask you questions as I read the book. Let's start. The name of this book is called Float by Daniel Miraez. Look at this picture. Here's a boy with his father and what do you see they have in their hands? It looks like newspaper. Tell your parents what you see the little boy made out of the newspaper. What is this? And how's the weather? What is the little boy wearing? He goes outside. What do you see? What type of weather is it outside? What are these called? What does he catch in his hand? Tell your parents. What did he have to do to keep his boat safe from the water? Oh, what does this look like? Do you think it's raining a little or a lot? Where do you see the little boy with his boat. Where did he put the boat? Wow, it looks like he's having a lot of fun. Could you tell your mom and dad what you see him doing in the rain? Have you ever done any of this in the rain when you go outside? Look at him here. What is he wearing to protect himself from the rain? Wow, the little boy could see, what could he see here? The water almost acts like a what? He could see his, talk to mom and dad, see if they could help you with the word. And now, where does he put the the boat. He puts it somewhere so it could float down. Tell your parents where you see him put the boat. Oh no! It looks like the boat got ahead of him. Look, it's sailing along far away from him. How do you think he's gonna catch it? Look, what do you see the boy doing to catch his boat? Look at his boat floating down the street. Oh no, do you think he could find it? Where do you think his boat went to? Look. I see him. What is he doing to catch the boat? What is he doing? Look, here goes the boat. Where did the boat go? He's trying to catch it. And it's floating along. Oh no! Where did the boat fall into? It looks like it's one of those gutters or drains in the street. Oh no, do you think he'll be able to get his boat back? Oh no, it looks like it went sailing into a 
river or a tunnel? Oh no, the boy is looking for his boat. Do you think he'll find it? Where do you think he might find it? There it is. He sees it. Right there. Oh, what do you think happened to the boat? The water did what to it? Oh, he found it here. What happened to the boat? Tell your moms and dads what you see happened to the boat. How do you think the little boy feels about his boat? It's now a big, long, wet piece of paper. Where do you think he's going to now? Tell your mom and dad where you think he's going. Look at him. How does he look when he got home? I guess he went back home because it was what was happening in the sky. Do you think he could play anymore? He went back home. How does he look? Happy or sad? Tell mom and dad. Oh, it seems like dad is happy to see him. What is dad doing here? to make him feel better. Remember sometimes when we're sad, I told you you could go to your parents and they could do this. Tell your parents what you love to get from them to make you feel better. Now what is dad doing to dry him up? What is he taking off? And what's this? Why do you think dad had to use this? What is he doing here? Tell your moms and dads. Oh, do you think the boy was cold? I think so. They're giving him something yummy. What do you think this is? It looks like it has marshmallows in it. Could it be? Could it be hot chocolate? Do you like hot chocolate? I love hot chocolate. What do you think dad is going to do with this newspaper here? Tell your moms and dads. What do you think he might do with the newspaper? Oh, look. What happened here? How did the weather change? And what did dad do with the newspaper? Could you tell your moms and dads? Oh my, look how beautiful. What type of weather do you see? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it snowy? And how does the boy feel now? Tell your moms and dads, how does he feel? Wow, that's the end of the book. And here, at the last page, it shows you how to make a paper boat. Do you think you could make one with your moms and dads? See if you could take a piece of paper and shape it like a boat and then see whether it sinks or floats. Take a bin of water, take a bin and put water in it or a pot or anything long that you have and see if you could make a paper airplane, a paper boat, I'm sorry, and see if it sinks or floats. I, I hope you like the story. Talk to you soon. Loved reading this with you. Bye.